Um, the last speaker in the session is Hajin Lee from the City of Hope in uh, Los Angeles. <clears throat> you can plug in here. I was uh, I was attending the molecular medicine meeting in February in San Francisco and went to see a talk from a friend of mine, uh, AJ Shaw, who had moved to the City of Hope a couple a year or two ago and didn't know what he was doing. So I thought, well, let me go see what AJ is up to. And uh, up on the screen, he's showing Transmart connected to I2B2, doing machine learning and all sorts of things. And so I uh, thought um, it'd be interesting to learn a little bit more about what they're doing. Hajeng is here from his group. Okay. Could you yeah, try to get yeah, this over? Okay. Uh, hi, my name is Hajeng. I'm from Singapore. Uh, today we'll talk about the different experiences with Transmart. And also, how we or activate the data we can find, and how we or even you know, like uh, analyze it. Uh, for those people who know, who know where Simple is, uh, an intensive cancer research center in the east of Los Angeles, it's the picture of Simple. Simple, we have a company notes. Treat patients with major disease, cancer, and diabetes, and we have basic research institute, background research institute, so basic research, and we also have a uh, 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 clinic center. Uh, I would add a uh, translational research informatics team. Thanks. We, as you call the more translational research, which means to me, the clinical research team and space research team, hopefully the space research uh, outcome can be used to treat the patient. So our team is trying to um, build the infrastructure to help uh, these directions. And here I show three systems, hopefully we implemented the transfer research. The first one is uh, activating implementation. We call it uh, ICO. Topol discovery echo is the for the active topol discovery engine. And on the on this side, this picture show uh, we integrate multiple data source from our data warehouse, like uh, diagnosis, building diagnosis, uh, lab result, and also simple uh, repository, put all the things with ETL and since uh, System. So the clinical research and this research can do those proper discovery to see, for example, if I do this kind of experiment, uh, do I have enough patients now? The second uh, platform we do is called Spray ML. It's called uh, it's for enforced development machine learning uh, system. Uh, this one integrates uh, both uh, and supervision and supervision learning algorithm. Uh, if you use a very simple interface to do their studies. And the last one is transform. Uh, this diagram shows oh, so the machine learning we developed is, is a, a commercial software is called Titan Pilot. Uh, it can reuse the components and to build new errors. We let's say hope uh, we have as we do the Available and we have transfer with very simple user interface and a lot of technology functions here. And so the motivation for us to do is it's probably list them together so all end users like the MD can access data and use the same functions also to add our own function to transform. Before I talk about solutions, currently for open box, if you get transmart, uh, how do you get it in? Uh, as I think the previous talk uh, the speaker I mentioned, like, you, you have it, you have can put it in, in Excel, so you cannot load data to open box transmart directly. There are no interface to do that. As open box, transmart community can uh, provide about 70 security data sets, which means data is already in a specific format. This one time, one line command, you can load it. And this one, this is summary, it's I did in March 2016 for the Indian meeting. And I think recently we probably already updated. Uh, 
And if you have your own data, you need a kind of data curation tool to curate it and then load it in the DTL. Uh, fortunately, Transmart team developed some tools to can help you do that. For example, one is called ICI's integrated curation environment. This one is uh, being very nice graphic user interface. And I think this one developed well. The documentation is a little bit out of date and is specifically designed for 1.1. But I think there's some updates for 1.2 that impact here. And also another two tools you can try is called Transmart Bench and Transmart Email. But this I think is a common line you have to do some uh, now I'll talk about functions. Uh, Transmart provides a lot of uh, big kind of functions, for example, you mentioned fast plot, uh, faster, uh, regression analyze, all those, and uh, survival analyze. But if you have out at the new functions, how do you do it? There are several ways you can do it. First thing is you can, if you have Java development, and um, Transmart is called Rails. It's a Java uh, framework for web applications. If you have developed team, you can develop a plugin such as the uh, Smart R. This is just related to the new versions. And or Transmart have the API. Uh, you can access data or uh, use uh, or Transmart has the functions use API. So for example. Uh, there are one plug that was solution of R interface, which link to smart data with the R platform. And all, all of those uh, advanced analytic functions in Transmart, such as box plot, heat map, this one is in a uh, plugin called uh, R module. You can add your own code there, but you have to follow the framework, at least for the step you need. Uh, first thing, this feature has to be in the R code. Second, you need to add a new real controller uh, as a few features. Then you have to add a view basically to the user interface. And then you need some JavaScript to do the client side functions. And then, last one, uh, yeah, you have a JavaScript to, to link your function with uh, transpire. And again, we have the Redis in the functions, which means you have multiple steps. The last thing is, I think, is I think we can start operations and all our components. Yeah. So, as I see, the challenge with this one is there are a lot of data, but the most time the top of the users, the data I want to use is not great. So, we have to do some work. And there are a lot of functions there. Function I like, not that. And so that's the motivation for the project I'm working on. These four proposal solutions. Oh, we have, as you know, we have uh, active community. Um, we have transform. The date we put in active group system is already passed on ETL package to be created. And we compare the I2B2 data uh, warehouse and the uh, Transmart data warehouse. We found this pretty similar because basically they're the same. They come, Transmart data warehouse come from I2B2. So we want to use, reuse or the package to load data directly to Transmart's data warehouse. For the new functions, for example, although we try to link the add or machine learning functions to Transmart. Uh, we don't want to read by the local because local some some part is read by R, some other functions read by my lab. We don't want to read by that way. So what we do is Transmart, when you generate a data set, you use the uh, Transmart uh, direct drop interface. In fact, Transmart saves the data set, the patient data uh, ID in the temple table. And Find this group uh, ID here. It's called patient set ID. Uh, as long as you know the ID, you can query all the patients' data information. And 
what we do is we just find out where this ID is and we pass this ID to our machine learning platform. And machine learning platform will talk with the data warehouse directly. So this means we don't touch and smart, we just add into there, get the information we need. The data generation, we get cleaning, get reorganization, everything is on the system. So you don't need to do as far. You just need to really play with you in your own system. I will show you the data. This one is compared between ITV2 database and uh, Transform database. This is just for the, uh, the core, not on all of it. If Transform has, if you open the database, you see there are 13, 14 of these schema there for different functions. This one just shows the one close to the patient clinical information. And in fact, you just need the four core table there. This one is called uh, ITV2 database. ITV2 this one and the concept of mission. This tool is host to the oncology uh, information and the patient information for the patient. And uh, the mission fact table is for the uh, clinical information. Uh, the database structure is almost identical. Uh, there are only one difference is for objective fact, I think Transmart uh, uh, use five three as the primary key. And which is not fit in the ID. So we just added the Google and primary key, and we find it doesn't have any function about transform. So here's the result. Once we make that little bit change, we can inject or activate the data directly to the transform. And we add about uh, 150,000 de identified single patient data. Into Transmart, and all this data is being used uh, IC9 as ontology, and also ICDO3 as cancer registration ontology. And also, we have the now user can access all this information with Transmart and other functions, and also can check the, the simple stickers. Now, I'll talk about a little bit about the machine learning. Platform we developed as simple. Uh, this one uh, we implement uh, probably about I think roughly 20 different machine learning algorithms into clustering, classification, and based on network analyze features in use pattern highlight. This system gives user a single interface. And user can just uh, submit one day set to look at all these things for you, and you can review the result. Pick, up, pick, pick the best method for you. So, how do we do with them? We, because uh, we, with this uh, machine learning platform, algorithm development, not just use R, we also use MATLAB, some function from MATLAB to Tupac. So, we don't want to redevelop it. Rewrite the code. And, uh, we are a small team there, so we are trying to be the really solution here. So basically, we just minimize, try to minimize the modification of this one. We just add the access GUI, which basically we just modify a little bit about our module and the interface about new functions, and we leave all the data collection and functions for our existing system. Here is what I mean. Uh, if you use transform system, you will know uh, all this and another functions. This, uh, this drop down list. And this drop down list is controlled by the table. Uh, you just insert one row there, and you can add new function, new function menu there. And of course, you still need an interface. But this interface is uh, quite simple. It basically can reuse uh, other uh, functions in the way, just modify a little bit, keep the field name. Then you can have this interface. Users still can select the uh, features they want, just drop down, sync uh, the best 
how to do the lag interface. And for the run button here, instead you run you like transfer to the data process, we didn't do anything, we just generate a link. Just like this one. This, uh, this link will call the your own analytical system, in our case it will be all machine learning into the system. We gave the core ID, basically the patient set ID, and all the features you want, for example, clustering, you want clustering like age and all those features you want to cluster, you just pass all those features to the system. And we built a small uh, application with the packet palace of the Cloud Transfer Connector. So basically, we receive this URL, pass it on the core ID and all the features, and generate query, generate, use this query to generate data we need to feed in our system. And that, that's, uh, then the data can be feed your own system, you don't want by the system. Um, I can tell you this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is my development server. This uh, it is a transparent default uh, package set here. So just select this one. If you once you generate the data, you go to summary and at this point, it, uh, we, I modify the code a little bit so that for debug purpose, you can see the transfer already generated. This is like this application set is here. Now, what I need to do is I just need to pass this, this, this number to my system. So my system will know which patient's there. I add two uh, new functions here. One is for machine learning clustering, one is for classification here. For example, I want to use age and uh, uh, <coughs> and uh, lung cancer in this type to a classification. Just this, this one just want to show the function. I well, I went with one. In fact, I didn't call any transfer function here. I just generate this URL, call my functions. But uh, my transfer connector will collect all the screen, pass out the information you need, and generate basically you have the table. Once you have the table, you can fit the table to any other function, the R, MLF, anything else. By the way, here it shows the sex, it didn't show the female or male because uh, uh, for those, those uh, geo has the set, the category ID is really just a number, it didn't put the male or female there, it just is ID. Now you have the data, and you can feed the data to your, to your own function, like 
my case, as I mentioned, uh, the, the, the real implementations usually are not really stable because this data will fit the measurement in the pipeline directly. But here, I just demo the purpose of the data generally. So the machine learning, we, we, the system, we have a both and provisioning, super reading and super reading, then the algorithm there. Here is some use case. Uh, uh, for example, for proper classification analysis, I can demo user just still use stress bar in place, drag drop concept, and they want to cluster, and the system will, I will demo it later, and will use, I think, six clustering algorithm to generate the cluster, and user just pick up the one and make sense of them. <coughs> For the classification, uh, we use uh, the supervision uh, machine learning algorithm, we give a predict model there. When user provide a game, uh, the interface is slightly different is user instead just one box drop out features on clustering. You have another box is the class. This means you want to train the system. For example, is normal and normal. And when you submit the data, the system will generate the result, show you use all those algorithms. For example, you have the CP3 and C5 CP3, application neural network, and random forest. All those, we will run all those machine learning algorithms with the same set and give the, the report. Based on the report, you can pick up which one is the best. For the machine learning, uh, for the super learning machine learning algorithm, we split date uh, 70% for the training, uh, 70% for the training, uh, 50% for the testing, 50% for the validations. And meanwhile, we can help ranking the top five factors based on the data set, which means we can Based on the data set, based on the model we build, user will know which factor to contribute to the model. For example, this one is uh, I just uh, put a test for the triple negative breast cancers. We uh, record this background lines. And this is patient, simple patient data here. And the blue box is the, the criteria, is like the cohorts. Basically, I use the uh, cancer. Registration data uh, ontology, we select the uh, breast cancer and uh, for the uh, biomarker, uh, select both ER negative, heart negative, and PR negative. And at the end, I got about exactly around uh, 650 patients. And it represents about 50% of the thing about breast cancer patients, simple, roughly very close to the mission one for the two cancer patients. And uh, this I to show the clustering, the different algorithms will generate different clustering. Well, uh, oh, forgot to mention factors as like the, the red box is the factor that I want to see. Uh, so far, I only have the information available, so I just like select like stage, uh, tumor size, age, and diagnosis, and also want to see. Which kind of treatment will be will be used? So it's like either uh, chemo, chemo therapy, chemo therapy and radiation therapy, surgery therapy and hormone therapy. And it surprised me, and the, the tumor negative patient somehow they also gave me permanent treatment. On the on the right side, the, on the left side is the result show for different uh, uh, algorithm for the different uh, uh, elements. And this pretty much we did to uh, provide simple solutions to link. In fact, not add on, and not add new features. Link the feature, link your existing features uh, between the uh, test one. And future work is we try to well, the solution I present here is still need coding something, right? It's still need to modify the database as the menu. You need to develop a new uh, page to show the solution. We hope we can design kind of a super kind of like feature sphere to transform, which means a uh, user can customize the feature you want to use. For example, you have the case is you have uh, your own system, and system always have some public development system available. Uh, 
and it can be accessed by a URL. And if their user just wants to listen to, to link with just one day, and we hope there will be development solution and zero coding for end users. Which means you have a configuration interface, <coughs> that's what we, we, we thought is, and you just need to provide the URL with new functions you want to make, and give a name uh, of the functions and specify which kind of interface you want to look like. How many well, for example, you want to do random variable, random variable, and then you, add, you can add on Instead, you have to call it from outcode and a lot of issues. And the next one will be try to integrate the high dimensional data space, which means to generate data. As in whole, we developed kind of how Ample 48 in China uh, is include 2,800 limitations for Ample 48, for 48 Ample Gene and Tumor Suspension Genes. And we try to integrate this part. Who is more uh, smart so we can do between the phenotype and genotype analysis? Summary is like uh, we show a uh, solution to kind of integrate back with the data with super smart. That's why I mentioned that uh, people are talking about the uh, integration between transfer and agriculture, and if you can. If this integration solution is available, that'd be great. So we don't need to do it. In fact, the solution we have here is still duplicated. So we just like we just like take everything that we have to transform. And also uh, simple solutions. The scenario is you have your functions in your home and you want to use it, but you want to recall it and require a solution. And the uh, translation request team here and the uh, uh, site is a recently developed machine learning platform. And Jack is my uh, developer in calling those uh, smart connector. And that uh, is the uh, state based developer of ETL. And uh, Jay and Sean Kaufman is the developer of Kaufman is calling for that. And I also want to thank the Transmart and the people community. Terry gave me a lot of help to understand the code and also Peter Rice and the uh, team. So, Mike Mendes is our development provider with you for that. Thank you.